All right, now Samsung has started rolling out One UI 5.1 for the Galaxy S22 series, and we are getting a bunch of cool new features. However, there are a couple of features which are exclusively available for S23 series have not landed on this S22 series with this all new update. Samsung usually do this. They keep a couple of features exclusively for the newly launched devices. Anyways, at the end of the video, I let you know which features are omitted with this update for the S22 series. Now let's go ahead. Under camera and gallery, there are a few new cool features. Now while taking a selfie, we can set color tones for the selfie images. When we open the selfie camera on the top right corner, we can see this FX icon. When we tap on this, you can see this all new option called color tone. We have got two options, natural and bright. You can choose the one you want. Now let's go back and let me tap on more. Here you see the expert raw option has been added inside the camera application. We all know that Samsung launched expert raw application separately some time ago. Now the features of this expert raw has been integrated inside the camera application, which is fantastic. Expert raw offers a wider dynamic range, letting us capture some amazing images in raw formats. And we also get this astrophotography feature inside the expert raw now. If you are someone interested in astrophotography, you will be able to click some amazing images of the sky in the night. That's the second feature added inside the camera application. Now coming to the gallery, the gallery search has become more powerful. We can now search the gallery for more than one person or subject at the same time. As you can see, when I tap on search, it is showing me all the faces. You can tap on a face to search all those images with that face. At the same time, we get additional faces to filter here. As you can see, we can add more faces right from here. That is cool. Next, we have got enhanced image remastering. We can now remaster GIF or GIF for better resolution and clarity. As you can see, I've got a GIF here. When we open the menu here, we see an all new option called remaster GIF. It is gonna take a few seconds to remaster a GIF. As you can see, we have got this slider. We can move towards the left or right to check out before and after effects. This is similar to the photo remastering feature which we already had on One UI 5.0. Next, we have got some enhancements in multitasking. Now I have got an application open here. I will just use my two fingers to swipe up from the bottom to open another application in split screen. And here on this particular window, you can see we have recently used applications and we also now get most used application in a separate section. And below that, we have got all the other applications which are on the phone. So so this most used application is an all new addition we have got for the multitasking experience. Now under modes and routines, we have got few changes. We can set different wallpapers based on your current activity. Let's open settings and open the modes and routines. As you can see here, when I go to modes and routines, we have got a free preset modes here. Let me tap on sleep mode. As you can see, we have got an all new option here, wallpaper. Let's tap on this. Here we can choose a lock screen or a home screen wallpaper. And we can also choose a watch face for your Galaxy watch. Whenever this mode turns on, you will see these wallpapers which you have already selected under this section. Let me open exercise. Again, we have got the wallpaper options right here. Now the next feature is saving the screenshots and screen recordings inside a selected folder in my files application. To access this, you need to go to settings, tap on advanced features. Here we've got an all new option, screenshots in which particular folder you wanna select. Just tap on this and select the folder. Now, whenever you take a screenshot or screen recorder, they will be saved inside the selected folder. Now let's look at a couple of brand new widgets we have got. First one is the new battery widget. Let me just press and hold on the home screen and tap on widgets. Now here, you can see we have got an all new option battery. Here we've got two different options. One is a circular option, then we have got the bars. Now these widgets are gonna show you the information about your battery percentage remaining on your connected devices like Buds or Galaxy Watch or any other connected devices. You will be able to instantly know what is the battery status on these devices. The second brand new widget is associated with the Bixby Vision. As you can see, we've got two more options here. Under Bixby Vision, we have Discover and we have got another option with translate, text, discover, and wine option. We'll be able to directly access these options without opening the camera on your phone. That is just brilliant. And I also noticed that this Android ES Easter egg wasn't available before on my particular phone. And now with One UI 5.1, I'm able to see this widget as well. Let me know whether you guys are able to see this new widget or whether it was already there on your phone, drop a comment. These are some of the useful important features which have been added on One UI 5.1. But like I mentioned in the beginning, Samsung did omit a couple of very good features 
such as the object separation feature which is inside the gallery application where you can just press and hold on an object on an image to separate it, copy it and save it which is a brilliant feature launched by iPhones for some time ago and now Samsung released this feature on the S23 series but that is not released for the predecessors of the S23 series. The second feature which I don't see on my device is the performance profile. On S23 series under more battery settings now we can see the performance profile. We can select light or standard profiles but here on the S22 series we did not get that feature. There are a couple of more features which are still missing. If you are aware of it do drop a comment and let me know which features you don't see on your S22 series which are available on the S23 series. That's all I have here. I will be posting a couple of more videos on One UI 5.1. There are a few here hidden features which are there on this particular version of the One UI. So stay tuned for those videos and be sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if you find this video useful. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye bye.